they spell it out for you in like ancient texts that like so for people that call themselves flat earthers or, or whatever it's not about the shape of the earth anymore it's that where your compass is pointing to it's pointing that way because there's a hole it's a vortex I know people think it's like magnetic mountain but this is the vortex like the drain they showed you like you know in Pirates of the Caribbean, the ship going down, they, they, you know, they rock the ship, then it flips over, and they, they rock it, they turn it over, and, you know, and then, everything, you know, you're, this is the gate, that mythical gate, heaven, you know, you sound like heaven's gate, this is kind of funny, yeah, I, I can imagine people say, you sound like a heaven's gate cult, because when I call you filthy, retarded, and necrophiliac, say it reverses to, I leave for heaven in a nice new ship. I know people assume, like, the heavens, like, a UFO and shit. But, you know, that's, that's kind of fun. Yeah. All this shit's fake. I'm, like, all those mass suicides, if you go look it up, you'll see how people investigated those photos and everybody's stage and everything's fake. It's all, no, it's just like everything else. You're fucking... Kim Jong Un and all the other shit. Everything you've never been shown a single truth. I mean, the whole Mayan calendar in 2012 and all this shit, and the Y2K shit, and it's the same fear shit. And it's just people <laughs> getting hustled. When is enough going to be enough? I mean, you know, people talk about Trump like he's really the president. Yeah. I, I know it looks like he's the president because he's sworn in the Bible. He's up there as the face. Literally so fake. I mean, like this George Bush senior and then junior becoming president. This this type of thing. Head of the CIA. I mean, come on. We, we all know this shit. He, you know, the New World Order, this type of stuff that they've been pushing and flipping everybody else out. The New World Order is the internet itself. You, you can't go nowhere without your cell phone. You're being, everything about you, that is the New World Order. They could flip to a button and say, hey, we want to listen to you and watch you. If you think your devices don't... You ever see like nanny cams and shit with cameras in it? If you think your electronics and modern electronics that you get, your TVs, whatever, they all come with sensors and shit built right in. You know... Whatever email you write, nothing is private. Every okay. search you make, you think, oh, I'm on tour of my Onion browser. That's kind of funny. You know who made the fucking Onion browser up? The United States Navy Intelligence. Mm -hmm. so, Naval Intelligence somehow doesn't connect with, like, NSA gathering type shit. So, how Naval intelligence comes up with this onion tour browser, and then they're going to tell you that you can go anonymously go by this and go by that. How did you? How do people fall for that shit? I mean, I showed a video showing you that the people like I'll sell you guns, whatever. They'll take your money, and they don't send you anything. It's it's like it's like uh, you get the email where a guy says I'm royalty and I'm leaving my country. I got millions of dollars and if you let me deposit into your account today I'll give you this amount of it and but it's all a scam it, mm -hmm. it they need you to wire him some X amount of money and and hopefully you're gonna get this amazing amount I mean what I'm saying is yes. there's no intelligence out there literally none at all now think about it. you're you can count cards, you're a gambler, you're this, you're a scientist, you're this, this but you can't see all this shit tiny in plain sight. You're going to tell me you're a son. You're going to be a scientist and tell me that you, because you're a scientist, but you've ruled out God and now you're an atheist. Or because of science, now you believe in God. or, or the, But still, you can't see the basic shit of reality. You, you don't even think you're you're in a computer simulation. Elon Musk could get on the team. Yeah, this guy says it. You're a billion times more likely to be in a computer simulation. I mean, the way they project it to you is wrong, but it, it's definitely a computer simulation. Mm -hmm. What they hid from you is that 
a white hole is connected to a black hole. So you know, they show you that that it needs to spit, light needs to spit out. Light goes through a black hole and it needs to be spit out of a white hole somewhere on the other side of the universe. It's like what they think. But they're not showing you that you're in this snow globe. The event horizon is like the CD. That you, you can see the rainbow on your CD, the hologram. Mm -hmm. It's like you're in the fucking CD with the hole at the center. Okay. <laughs> the sun goes right around burning everything onto the CD, burning it on or reading it. You know, burning on to, and then the green actually trickles down, you know, shit like, like shit that's only specifically for you in the Kashuk record. When I spill up blood as Satan, I went on British flat after, flat after party. I told you clearly, I'm capturing these elemental powers out of the Akashic record. Just a whole bunch of information left there for me or, or whoever. All of you, like you pick Venus, you know, people have their names that they attach to for whatever reason it is. That's not an accident. There's information specifically out there just for you and nobody else that brings you closer to that end game result. Whereas you're getting eternal life, freeing everybody you love from bondage, passion to garbage. This is, it's like inevitable. It's yeah. We're talking about the garden of being eternal life. It's inevitable. You see what I'm saying? It's not something you can steal from all, all of us now. It's just going to keep trickling out, trickling out, trickling out. It's not something you can escape from. 